Hi guys, the Kitchen Fairy here with another cooking video, a uh, recipe video, and today is um, a dish uh, which is in which was inspired with by Mexican dish called arroz con pollo. Um, I did. I didn't use um, most of the ingredients that uh, the, the Mexican would use in their arroz con pollo, but uh, I found their foods always awesome, so I gave a try and added ingredients that I had at home. Uh, check out the full video. Oh, the boys really like this dish. Check out the full video, and I'll see you soon again. Bye. Bye. Baby saying bye. So bring a couple of thighs of chicken in salted water to boil. Best is without the skin, but you can remove the skin later after the chicken is cooked. So we're just going to bring this to boil. While the chicken is boiling, slice thinly 5 baby carrots, 2 garlic, and 1 small onion. So this, you dice it. So this is about quarter cup. And then now, and now we're going to toast um, two cups of uh, rice to so just dry fry the rice until browning and you want to skim off the fat from the boiling chicken once rice is browning add in the onion and garlic in the carrots then add in quarter cup of um, canned corn and quarter cup of red bean kidney red bean red kidney beans and just mix it again At the moment, I turn off the heat, so this is just to mix this. Then we add in one teaspoon of crushed parsley, basil cilantro, fresh cilantro, and then this is a quarter teaspoon of cumin, cumin powder or ground cumin, and two chicken cubes. Then we're gonna add one small tin of uh, condensed tomato soup. You just want to mix it and this is without um, the heat of the um, stove so the stove is off we just mixing it now we're gonna add in the chicken so add the chicken this is I remove the skin but you can with the skin if you like it and then just add the chicken broth from when we boil the chicken about four cups at least so we're gonna cook this on medium high until the rice totally cooked and the broth absorbed Once the broth absorbed, you can add one more cup of water, hot water, and then let it uh, simmer again until it's completely absorbed. With this one cup of water, you just pour them and you just leave it, no uh, stirring or anything, so your rice won't be mushy. It's ready.